Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okay, uh, we're going to get straight into it, I think. Uh, so we're looking at the uh, Queen. Okay, she's taking some time out, is she? Uh, let's have a look, okay? Uh, let's have a look. What's the truth of the situation with the Queen at the moment, please? I don't know why she'd be thinking about her, her mum, okay, but I am getting that she seems to be uh, thinking about her mum, okay. I know she's uh, thinking of uh, Georgia as well, and the trees don't come down until the six. I don't know whose name I just said, them, but anyway, <laughs> I hope it's right. Anyway, if not, uh, the, uh, I don't know what his name is. I don't even know what I've just said. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, I know it's that time of year where uh, she'd be thinking, is it a dad uh, uh, as well? I don't know, I feel her uh, 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 being... I feel like this woman is surrounded, though, by her children as well, so I think she's maybe taking it easy uh, and resting... I think she's resting. Do you know what? I think her hip has been playing up, you know. Uh, and that can, oh, that can, like, whip. can you imagine every time you're walking and it's chafing uh, and you've got to hide uh, that level of uh, pain. I mean, at that age, Joe's hips wouldn't fucking hurt. Excuse my French. Okay. I kind of do feel like she's uh, she's looking forward. Okay, she's looking forward. She's looking forward. Okay, I'm seeing written words here. I'm seeing written uh, words. So, uh, you know, is she? Uh, she's writing something. She's actually writing uh, something. Maybe something that she will, uh, you know, maybe a speech of something. Okay, but she's, uh, you know, I am getting a look in her care though. Uh, you know. Right, let's have a look then, because I don't know why, but Anne, Anne is uh, coming into my head. Uh, Anne, Princess Anne. You know, because she's got, always got her hair, hasn't she? She's always got, Anne has always got her hair, kind of something like that, okay? Patted in the middle uh, and uh, brought back off the face. Maybe she's got something as well that she, you know, kind of wants to show, show people, okay? Uh, maybe she wants to show people something. Sorry, that just knocked us out. No. Okay. What advice has the, the Queen had? What's the most recent advice the Queen has had? Isn't that odd? Isn't that odd, eh? We've got mum and dad. Mum and dad. Mum and dad. So she's thinking of both of them then. We're looking at a, a change of seat here, guys, okay? I, I look uh, upon him. Look. The both, uh, look at them both. The 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 both in the left hand as well. Left, no, right hand to you, isn't it? Uh, the both together. The both together. I 
I wonder if she's been uh, thinking of her own. Um, Like her own end of life, okay. Uh, I wonder if she's been looking at her own end of life uh, and what happens, okay. I see a mother and a father, a mother and a father, okay. I think she's been told to rest uh, as well, okay? I think she really has been told uh, to, to rest uh, and lay low, you know, uh, uh, and, like, they've been quite strict with her, and I think Charles is as well. But I kind of feel like uh, this isn't just Charles, you know? I feel like this could be a, a, a doctor of somebody. Uh, uh, or, yeah, who said, just sit back. But I also but do truly believe that she is thinking of uh, her and Philip and her mum and dad. What will be the uh, Queen's uh, next move, you know? We got anything, anything, we're not bothered. Okay, uh, so I, I feel like uh, talk's not going well here. Uh, something being uh, hampered, okay? So as if she's trying to communicate something uh, to, to others, okay? I don't feel she's sharing something, okay? I don't feel she's sharing uh, something. Something wrong with a communication that uh, goes out. Something wrong with a communication that goes out. I think, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, tension, isn't there, uh, as well, uh, with uh, the media, the social media, uh, any media, you know. It, I kind of feel like it's uh, hampering something so that... And with uh, uh, Andrew as well, that will be uh, hampering her. Uh, from seeing a, a good future. How can you think of a fucking jubilee when, uh, you know, your son's up uh, on trial for, for whatever? Uh, so, yeah, I think it's got to her. I don't think it's got to her. Do you know what? Uh, you know, you'd be... Uh, um, so much stress, honestly. Less stress has given somebody a stroke. What doesn't the Queen want us to know? Okay, could this be then? I'm getting don't trust her at all. So we're, we're not in the royal family at the moment, okay? Because it's uh, reversed uh, and it's not always the royal family. It can be YouTube. It can be uh, uh, your boss, uh, you know, an organisation that you go to work for uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm getting that uh, she's definitely uh, hiding. There's lots of uh, hidden discussions going on. Uh, you know, uh, there's uh, like uh, groups uh, and terror groups uh, and organisations uh, at stake here as well. Okay, uh, and lack of freedoms, like not being able to to tell the truth or uh, for your truth to be heard. Um, I do feel as well, uh, you know, that uh, the the queen. Uh, her distrust uh, of something or someone or some group she don't want us to know that i think she feels you know that uh, it's not just people like uh, Meghan Markle and Harry who want to destroy the monarchy, uh, but you know every, every other way as well so uh, and i think uh, andrew's She's worrying about uh, Andrew's freedom. Uh, 
and him not having his uh, freedom, okay? He's not having his uh, freedom. She doesn't trust somebody. Could it be she doesn't trust her own uh, son? Because no doubt he's uh, told Parquet Pie after Parquet Pie. Lie, lie, lie. Must come a point, uh, you know, when you no longer take a hundred percent the word of, you know, your friend, your family, your son, your daughter, uh, you know, your parents, whatever. Uh, it must be very, very uh, uncomfortable. Okay, uh, what does the Queen fear? That something goes global, that something goes international, uh, you know, uh, and that is uh, successful. So what does she fear? Maybe uh, the success uh, of uh, Andrew's uh, uh, case now, because things have changed, haven't they? And new statements have been given out about um, uh, juries and this, that and the other. So I think she's uh, afraid it will, they will be successful. What's the Queen's short term goal? I feel like uh, people are, are asking for uh, permissions and thoughts and opinions on uh, stuff to do with the Jubilee. But she can't concentrate. Sad being 95, you know, she's worried sick uh, about her, her son. A short term goal is, uh, you know, their the family is in disarray. I think they've been getting out of control. So maybe, yeah, uh, you know, uh, she's uh, she's going to have to deal uh, with, with that, you know, about. I mean, you've got Harry, you've got Meghan, you've got Andrew, even Prince Charles to an extent uh, for, for like this latest financial thing. Um, <coughs> you've got Eugenie uh, and Beatrice, you know, we're still with their attachment uh, to Harry. Um, I just think there's a, a lot of disarray, so she, that's what she wants. I think she's taking time out to sort it all. Maybe that's what she's doing. She's taking uh, time out, uh, you know, and, and she's going to put her, her foot down uh, as well with people. Okay, long term, what does she, you know, what's her long term goal? Yeah, she's had enough. That's it. You know, she wants an end to everything, uh, an end as quick as possible, uh, and get the family uh, back in line, uh, and and uh, to go forward with her to a, a brighter future. Now I can see that in the Queen because she she would think uh, like that. Uh, you know, she it needs to change. If anything, they all need to stand to, together uh, for this ominous uh, threat. But obviously, you know, we know fucking Harry and Meghan are the biggest threat of them all. Uh, what does uh, what what move does the Queen intend to make for Meghan and Harry? Okay, uh, there is something, uh, you know, there is something coming out, okay? Uh, so it hasn't been seen yet, okay? Uh, it's definitely in the written form of the word. It could be statements. It could be uh, express newspapers, the sun, the fucking Harper's Bazaar, the fucking, uh, oh, I don't know, GRTV, whichever, uh, you know, they've tried. They've tried, haven't they? But I'm going to say on the Queen's point of view, she's made a, a move uh, and there's something uh, that's coming out that hasn't uh, been seen and is in the dark. 
Now, how would the Queen know uh, about uh, uh, the TIG? Why would the Royals know about the TIG uh, to be able to, to go forward? So there's something coming out that we don't uh, know about. Thanks for that. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Does uh, uh, do I feel like she could be uh, taking action against them? You know, against uh, their book. Okay, maybe this book. Maybe you know they they haven't seen it yet and they're still in the dark. So uh, are they uh, asking to to see something? Okay, uh, that that you may well find they are. How does she feel uh, about uh, Harry uh, and Meghan uh, and what they've done so far? It's broken a heart. It's broken a heart. It really, really has. There's no fucking love lost here. Uh, you know, it's broken a heart. What, what are her fears about Andy? Mm. That's what I told you. I don't know whether she feels she can trust her own son. It's he said, she said, he said, she said, he said. You know, it, it's all those kind of things there. Uh, and I think you know she's wondering now if he's just an if he was a player, you know, because there must be some stuff like uh, that she didn't know he'd got up to, like pictures and photos uh, and taking people places. I mean, you know, how stupid can you be? Or arrogant to think, well, I'm not a future king. The rules don't apply to me, you know. Uh, is he a spare? I don't know. Was he a spare? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, she doesn't know whether, uh, you know, she can trust him. That's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Absolutely uh, heartbreaking to be in that uh, per permission to maybe question, you know, has he actually done this? Okay, I'm not giving no credence uh, to it. This is what I'm saying as a mum, uh, as the queen, uh, well, the thoughts that she's experiencing. Okay, uh, uh, and yeah, that must give you a fucking massive headache. It must do. Will the ju uh, will uh, the queen get to enjoy her jubilee? Do you know what? She'll be so happy with this. And, it, and uh, do you know, funnily enough, it's not about what her own children are doing or grandchildren. It's about the uh, community, you know, uh, about the UK public, uh, about how we uh, show our love for her, you know. So regardless of your fucking uh, son uh, and your grandson and his uh, dippy fucking wife. Oh, how many times did I swear then? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I think it's, uh, she, you know, she's going to put on a good show. She's going to put on a, a good show, even though her heart is breaking uh, about what Meghan and Harry have done, uh, that she's questioning in herself uh, whether or not uh, her son, Andrew, is sincere in what he's uh, saying. Uh, and But do you know what? I think the sparks there from us, the public, uh, we'll help her heal a bit, okay? We'll put that smile back on her face. Uh, and I think that's what uh, will will happen, okay? Because I see, lovely, lovely. It starts in a week, it says. In a week, in a week. It's, what day is it? 31st. Uh, so in a week, yeah, you've got a good week here. Uh, it'll be a right good start as well, you know. Starts with me to go on. Uh, like I said, these things will have been in uh, production and uh, uh been planned uh, for the last couple of years okay meeting after meeting after meeting about it 
so I, I'm glad I'm glad I'm really really glad and I think uh, you know it, it obviously as well uh, it puts our Queen right up there uh, she is uh, the foremost uh, important woman in the world uh, for me and influential uh, and for everybody else I imagine okay how can you not have a you know anybody who says different hasn't got a fucking heart hasn't got a heart <laughs> okay guys okay right that's enough from me today I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye now. Bye-bye.